all right guys i'm back with another 180 wave video and this video is basically how to make your your waves drip how to make your waves as best as possible how to make sure they're shiny how to make sure you know man like they just show they have a good definition in this video i'm gonna show you how to do it um uh, one more thing if you do like the video make sure you like the video and also follow my snapchat my snapchat is gonna be right there so if you have any questions please let me know i'm very curious to know if, what questions you have and i can possibly make a video about those questions so please send those in but basically the first thing uh is brushing man brushing is gonna be the easiest thing you can do anybody can do it um the brush does kind of matter now that i've been in the game for a little bit i feel like your brush has to be long like make sure you get a good brush i would suggest like maybe like a diane or a torino uh just because it's longer and you know it won't it'll make your waves a lot more even so you know make sure you put a brush work in um you can brush let's see for how long should you brush for you can brush for like an hour a day i feel like that's good that's sufficient or you know anything above an hour a day is like amazing like i feel like an hour a day is good just kind of depending on how um how much work your waves need how much training your waves need so the more train your hair is the less you have to brush um but you know brushing will always help so you don't have to brush that much but if you want your waves to be perfect brush for as long as you need to man um but um the i'm just saying for if your hair is trained a lot better you're gonna notice your hair is gonna be a lot uh, it's gonna lay down easier and it's also gonna be able to accept pretty much any products you put into it now next thing i have this is the shea moisture uh what kind of this and the moisture retention shampoo this is a natural shampoo i've been using it for a minute as you can tell it's like nothing in there but man this shampoo is really really good um i suggest this because it's natural but it also cleans your hair good um the difference between this shampoo and like non-natural shampoo is the ingredients in there i guess it would be ingredients the ingredients in the product and then also um non-natural shampoo will strip all your hair uh oils and your natural hair oil so that will leave your hair dry not saying you can't get it back you can add more products in to get your back your hair back um shiny and everything but this shampoo is just really going to make sure that you don't lose any of your shine you don't lose any of um your natural hair oils that helps out with shine so i highly recommend that if you're on the fence about switching from natural to non-natural or i mean um from non-natural to natural uh just start off with that like if you can get that i think it was like eight bucks it's definitely worth it and you're going to notice a, a difference in your hair quality and your hair is not going to be dry so if you have a problem with dry hair switch your shampoo to natural i've done it and it's honestly the best thing that you can do so try to either get that or get something that's natural and look at the products I mean ingredients in there uh the next one this is the tresemme uh touchable softness silky and smooth and silky conditioner man this is like the this has been my conditioner i had since like i've been using this conditioner for like eight years i think so it's not necessarily the most natural shampoo i mean the most natural um conditioner but this has good ingredients that help out with shine so if shine and like touchable softness is a big thing with you if you want to make sure you focus on that i would suggest this shampoo i mean this conditioner and it lasts for a long time too so um definitely check that out the next thing this is my go-to for making sure my hair is shiny and moisturized is this hair and scalp conditioner it has olive oil in it and vitamin e i've been telling y'all olive oil is just the best because it's good for your scalp it's also good for your hair and it's good for your face to shine man and like this is really 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 good product you only really need that to be honest you only really need that like that is literally a staple product like you have to make sure you use a good product that's going to moisturize your hair look at that shine though and make sure it shines it so olive oil for me is a go-to i recommend it 
no matter what type of waiver you are make sure you try olive oil if you have it it's the it's very very natural it's very very natural it smells great it's not gonna leave your hair smelling weird and it's gonna shine your hair to the fullest i promise you i can guarantee that uh next thing old faithful we got the gold sporting waves if you are a um subscriber on my channel if you watch my videos you know that i only really use the gold one. like i don't use any other i don't switch up products like i had this one since like my first video i've used the, i just use the gold one this is the best hold um it keeps your waves in place if you're trying to make sure work on your connections use the gold one super super strong hold it's going to last even if your do rag falls off i notice with this it just maintains the hold even when i'm brushing i'm pulling my waves for the connections it keeps the waves in place so definitely make sure you use a gold pomade by sporting waves honestly the best one i have uh best one i use i'm continue to use that i'm not switching that up anytime soon um but yeah man definitely check that out and then as you can see my hair is just really shiny because i use all those products together and it gives me a good combination and then i put on my durag so once i put all those connect all those great products together and then i put on my durag it's just like uh a combination for success man it just really brings my hair together keeps my hair very very nice very very shiny you know keeps the compliments flowing in because it's just moisturized no one wants you know dry waves especially if you see waves you know you don't want them dry you want them you want them to drip so make sure you look at these products i'm telling you the truth i mean i use all the products and i haven't had any problems with it um but yeah i just brush it in place too like after i take off my drag i'll brush it again and uh it's just the shine this is gonna be amazing like it's I can't really, really explain. Like, you can pretty much see. I can't explain it too much, but hopefully you guys can see the difference between, you know, not using this olive oil or not using um, uh, a natural shampoo, but it makes all the difference. So definitely check that out. Definitely um, look at all the products. Look at the conditioner too, and then wear your do-rag as much as possible. Um, that's been another big tip with me is just really wearing my do-rag, like, all day, every day. Um, even when I'm like kind of like down, like I'm not really doing anything, I just have it on. It wouldn't hurt to have it on. And then I notice it lays my hair down really, really nicely. And yeah, so another thing with wearing your durag for ex extended periods of time, even wearing it in public, one of the main things is is going to train your hair to be amazing. Like your connections are going to get better. Your um, wave placement too like so if you have forks it fixes forks too by just wearing a drag and um, um training your hair and laying down your curls um another thing i mentioned a couple of my other videos was that you know waves are just laid down curls so you want your hair to be trained you want it to be pretty much obedient so basically a wave cap is just like training your drag is just training your hair to stay in the same place which is a very 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 important if you want really really good connections whether if you're 180 or 360 uh especially if you're 360 you need a do-rag like you have to have multiple do-rags and uh have one just in case if you're traveling have one at school have one at work have one in the car have one in your mom's car have one in your dad's car have one in every car just or have it everywhere so you're able to you know sleep without your waves misaligning or your waves not being as well or good as they could be because you don't have a new right uh so after that like pretty much after all that information and you go back to basic you still brush like you still uh, shower brush you still do this i think i'll probably make another video on shower brushing i feel like that is a topic i haven't touched on in a minute and i think it's time to uh, go back to shower brushing because you know that is important too and it also helps out connections and um, training your hair so i'll probably get more in depth into that i know that's a very very important topic but i really really want to show you guys how to make your waves drip man like it's it's important like if you have waves you want them to look as best as possible you don't want them to be dry so 
I had to make this video. I had to let y'all know. Like, I had to put y'all on. And I had to tell you the products. Like, I don't use as many products as I used to. Um, I could. But I just want to make sure I'm saving you guys money. I want to make sure that your pockets are, you know, you can use money on other products. I mean, other things. And you don't have to spend so much money on your hair. But, man, just hopefully all these tips help you out. Make sure you wear do-rag. Please wear do-rag every day. But um, hopefully these tips help. Uh, I, even after this, uh, I put my do rag on again. I make sure I just have it on, so my hair is trained. Like you can never have too trained of hair. Like your hair needs to be used to being laid down. Your curls need to be laid down as much as possible. But um, that is the end of the video. If you do like the video. Make sure you go downstairs, click the like button, and then subscribe for more content. I will be back with more content. And yeah, man, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.